Hey guys, it's Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a rag quilt. They're quick, easy, and great for gifts. So let me show you our version of a one hour rag quilt. Let's get started by cutting seven and a half by width of fabric strips. Cut seven different strips for your front, seven identical strips for the center, and seven identical strips for your backing. Layer your quilt sandwich, put your backing right sides down, add your middle, and your top right side up. Now on this quilt, nothing has to be exact, so I'm not using starch or anything. It can be very casual. We're gonna trim this down to six and a half by 34. So I'm gonna be using a really wide Creative Grids ruler, and the reason I'm using a wide ruler is because flannel is very thick, and using a wider ruler is gonna really hold your fabric down so it won't move. And I've also just put in a sharp rotary blade since flannel is really thick. A new blade will really help you. So now I'm just gonna trim this to six and a half. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect. So we've cut our width six and a half, and now we're gonna trim our length to 34. I'm just gonna be using the lines on my mat. And you can save your leftovers for another project. We're gonna repeat this step so we have a total of seven sandwiches. And I'm gonna put just a few pins in so they don't fall apart. And again, I'm not using starch. And this can be done very fast, quick and easy, doesn't have to be exact. To assemble your strips, we're gonna do something totally opposite than you usually do when you're quilting. Instead of right sides together, we're gonna to do wrong sides together. So an easy way to remember this is back to back. So put your backing and your backing together. And then we're just gonna pop in a few pins and go straight to the sewing machine and I'm gonna show you how to sew your first two rows together. And just remember, back to back. Before you start sewing, set up your machine. I'm gonna use a half inch seam allowance and I'm gonna put tape on my machine so I can easily see the seam. I'm also gonna use a 3.0 stitch length. When you start and stop, you're gonna do a back stitch. I'm using a really pretty thread and it's an Aurifil Aqua. I'm using top stitch 90 needles, but the most important thing is to have a new fresh needle. I'm also using a walking foot, which is gonna help guide the fabric through the machine. Keep adding your rows and remember, piece back to back. All seven of our rows are sewn together, super quick. Now what we're gonna do, instead of binding, we're gonna take a half inch seam on all four sides and then I'll show you what to do next. When you come to the corner, you're gonna pivot at a half inch and I just eyeball it. Leave your needle down and turn. When you get to one of these seam intersections, you're gonna flatten it where you see the backing and just keep going. This is the best part of the quilt. You get to clip all of the open seams about every quarter inch. I'm using the brand new Sharp Tula Pink Scissors. You're gonna clip to the stitch, but not through the stitch, all the way around, about every quarter inch. And just have fun, this is the best part of the quilt.
this is what your quilt looks like before you wash it and this is what your quilt looks like after you wash it. Wash your quilt in cold water and dry on low. This one hour rag quilt is so simple and easy, even a beginner can do it. And they make great gifts for your friends and family. Thanks for watching this episode of Quilting with Kimberly. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.